Hello everyone, my name is Silo, and this is Aloy, and this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Silo! Okay, so when we last left Aloy, we had done a lot of quests, and when I say a lot, I mean like we had just gone left and right completing as many quests as possible. So right now, we are headed towards a cauldron. We're actually going to pass on through this corrupted zone, uh, which may be a little bit challenging for us. We may skip through it. Um, I don't know. We're going to head up to the cauldron, which is right here. This is our definite. This is our goal for this episode. So it may run a little bit longer. We'll find out as we go along. But that is our goal. This is what we want to do. Let's make sure that we keep the uh, target in line or the, our uh, path in line. So that way we don't miss out what's going on. And I will probably catch up with you guys once we hit something a little bit more interesting. Until then, enjoy the scenery as it goes whizzing past Aloy. Okay, so here we are at the cauldron. Actually, the cauldron is way back there in the background. Uh, we still have to get into it. So well, we're going to have to sneak around. And that will be interesting, I guess. This will be this will be a test of our stealth skills right here. Everything that we've learned. Um, didn't run across any real opposition along the way. So this is actually quite kind of an easy easy path for us so let's see if we can't take these out so um a little about oh well i'll talk a little bit about the cauldrons as we get inside of them this must be the cauldron draw was talking about there's gotta be a way in somehow oh hey nope i want you to right there thank you all right yeah you're not very happy do you see me Sure seems like it. Oh, you, you see me. Oh, hey. Not very friendly. Okay, well, you know what? Hey, dodging time. This is what I get for just trying to take a couple of you guys out. You decide that you want to come around and attack me. Hit you in your little laser thing right there. And get hit. Whoops. Oh. Wow, there's two of you. That's not good for me. Did I knock you yet? Nope, I didn't knock you. You knocked into me. Okay, come on. Knock this thing off. Okay, come on. Let's do something a little bit more fruitful with this experience. Let's light you on fire. Uh, or get hung up on a rock. You know, that'll work too. I don't know if I actually got you. There you are. Now you're on fire. Fire! Oh, burn, 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 burn. Okay, and yeah, you're on fire now. We'll switch to something a little bit more friendly while you burn we're gonna take on your little friend here uh, while you hit me in the back because that's necessary let's see if we can't take you guys out not doing too hot oh so close okay come on there you go massive amount of damage to you you know what you're just one hit away from dying I'm just one hit away from dying let me hit you in the face, hit you in the back, and stagger you, and now we take you out. Wow, not a very good start to this episode at all. Let's go ahead, we're going to gather our spoils here, and hope that we can make it through this cauldron without too many more issues. 
Stealth will be our friend in there, and apparently stealth is not something that we're doing very good at today. Quite a door, but how to open it? Alright, so, cauldron time. So, cauldrons are this game's version of dungeons. There's, uh, I think six or seven of them. Uh, we'll say six of them total in the main, and then I think seven if you include the uh, DLC. But each cauldron offers basically a challenge, and they center everything around certain enemies, or certain enemy types. And this one's going to be, of course, the lesser enemies. And part of that's just because, well, I mean, part of that's just because we haven't really hit across some major enemies. However, at the end of every cauldron, there is usually a boss fight, which is always, always challenging. And that is something that we will have to deal with once we get there. Um, I just realized I need to get more Ridgewood. Uh, I may have made a mistake. We'll find out. I don't have a lot of Ridgewood. Uh, I typically don't gather in strides because it's super cheap and it's everywhere, but this may end up being a bad moment for us. Oh, hey. Wow. First death. Alright, so let's get back at it again. So, once again, so cauldrons, back before I so diligently fell down a giant gaping hole, uh, are this game's version of dungeons. And inside these dungeons, we have... Oh, wait a second. Do I have to recollect on these? Yep, I do. So, basically, they're kind of a mystery. They are uh, holes in the ground. They are holes in the side of mountains. And they house all of these, like, really robotic machine-looking areas. Um... If you're familiar with like Star Wars, not Star Wars, but it's like Star Trek and stuff, this always reminded me of the Borg. Um, let's see if I can't do this. See, this is what it should have done. It should have just locked down on the uh, walkway and then automatically crossed it without any issue. Shoulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. So you can check these out. Vents, you can create um, gas, and this is actually a great way to create kind of ad hoc hiding areas because we don't get a lot of them here oh hey we've attracted the unwanted attention of somebody okay that's glitchy and different i don't think i've ever seen that but so like right here you can see we can come out here we'll be out in the open but now we're hidden which is great because we need to hold on to our um, health as much as possible as well as our Ridgewood apparently. The good thing is is the game offers a lot of these uh, healthy health things inside of here that will really help out. Okay, that's not cool. Hopefully we get out of that. We can see. Oh, wait. Or not. Okay, I thought I was hidden. Okay. Take you out, and then try to dodge this other guy. Oh, well. There you go. Knock him down, and then stab him. Okay, not exactly how I wanted that to go, but hey, we got out of it without getting injured. That's a good sign. That's a good thing. Okay, so basically in these areas, you just kind of want to make your way through them. The good thing is, is there's very little to explore. It's usually pretty monodirectional. Um, the game does a pretty decent job of filtering or funneling you to where you need to go. Um, there will be challenging places like these rooms right here. So in this one, we had two watchers. In the next one, we may have watchers and scrappers, something like that that we have to try to overcome. Um, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's see if I can't do this. So, all things, 
are killable in this game, including rats. Ah, come on. There we are. And let's see if I can't. Rats actually are very rare to find because you only find them in these kind of areas. Just kill it. <laughs> and of course, I don't get any of the rare items I need from it, like, you know, meat or, or sorry, uh, bones or skin or anything like that. I get tiny meat. So, lucky me. Thank you, RN Jesus, for hating on me today. Okay, so once again, we're filling up our health pouch. This is actually a, a very much wanted thing, because at the end of every single one of these cauldrons, they usually put one of the larger enemies, um, and kind of that that's the cauldron's feature. So it'll be a much tougher boss fight than we've ever dealt with so far. Um, maybe not, I mean, we may be well matched for it as far as our level goes, but skill-wise, you're always going to be learning something new with it. Okay, once again, you can look the other way. There's nothing the other direction. So it's just pushing us one single way. You can travel back here, but it's going to be dead end. Okay, and now we start getting into, like, the guts and glory of this place. So be prepared for Gorilla Games, um, their brainchild right here. Some really cool things that the game has to offer. It's always worth also uh, taking a step back and kind of examining everything, seeing what's there. And as you can, I'm also picking up, by the way, I'm picking up more Ridgewood as well. So, uh, yeah, it was a good thing that I went back and cra or grabbed some more. But I probably could have gotten away with not grabbing it um okay did i just yeah okay i just undid everything that i did that i wanted to do okay i meet you back up there thank you for falling down okay here we are, we're back again. Uh, again, I was trying to explore, I explored too hard, and kind of undid all my progress. So, we're back. 14% again added to our health pouch. Very nice, very wonderful. We'll know the boss area, by the way, when we get there. Hold the button. The good thing is, is we should probably level up while we're in this area. And that would mean probably a new skill. Actually, I almost guarantee that it's going to mean a new skill. And that's going to be before the boss. We'll actually use that to choose some better stuff. So now we actually see some life going on inside of this. And as to what the cauldron's purposes are, I'm going to leave the game to explain that because it does explain what they are for, what they're used for later on. Um, but as you can see right now, there's a lot of just big electronic stuff kind of happening. Um, and now we've hit our first puzzly dead end thing. At least it looks like it's a dead end, but then you see, hmm, there's something funny about that. And then you go, hmm, what else can we do? Well, if you fall, that's most definitely going to be a death. But I should be able to, see if I can do this, jump on it. And now we ride off to the next area. You can already see that there's some places that we're going to have to deal with later on. And we're pretty much just going to ride this guy until we can't ride it any longer. Okay, there's another place for a bridge. 
some enemies down there. That'll be our next level, by the way, when we go down there. Alright, so now... Now it's time. We know that there's going to be enemies around. We've got to start being a little bit more mindful of what we're doing. Um, cool thing is, so this right here... A uh, little bit of platforming. We're going to want to jump across the little gap that this is that way. Or find another way across. Well, you're really not going to find too much of a way. You, well, let me rephrase that. You won't be able to jump it. However, I will while we're here. You know what? I'm going to switch to a different arrow. Um, while we're here, let's see if we can't take one of these guys out. Oh, he's dead set on looking that way. Ooh. Quit moving. Thank you. And that was enough right there to get me the level that we've so desperately been wanting, right? Right? Okay. Skill time. Let's up up our skills. So precision plus would be very useful. Uh, critical hit plus would be very useful. Heavy lifter, not so much. Not right now, anyway. Hey, low profile, not not right now. They will be later on. Um, I think. Let me let me think here. Scavenger, extra resources. Mm, that's a good one to have. Given our current predicament. Uh, and based on our melee combat, I think if we're going to go ahead and take up the uh, precision or the critical hit, well, eh, I'm not really sure which one I want to do. Both of these seem like such a great idea. Um, you know what, let's go for critical hit plus. There's a couple times we've come across some downed enemies and tried to take them out, and uh, yeah, it just has not been very successful. So here we are. It should help quite a bit. And now, let's see. I know I saw another enemy around here somewhere. I'm going to scan for... Yeah, there you are. Hello, beautiful. And... Let's see if I can... Ah, uh, well, not exactly my best shot. Oh, still not my best shot. You know what? I don't even have to hit you. Oh, come on. I do have to hold the button long enough for you to do something. There you go. Okay, still not my best uh, option here, but that's okay. So we're going to cross now that we've taken out some of our threats. And drop down. Come on, drop down. Thank you. And now we're on the other side. If we were to try to gap this and fall, there is a way back up. I don't think you actually take damage from that one. But it is something to keep in mind that... If you mess up, a lot of times the game is very forgiving, with the exception of falling. Uh, is very forgiving on a lot of things. Okay, we still have an enemy in the background. You can see the alert over there. Ah, spear damage coil. So, is our is our spear actually upgradable at this point? Because if it is, that would be wonderful. Um, I don't see it. Oh, yeah, I don't see it. So, um, if maybe a later version of the the spear. We'll find that out. Um, we're gonna up up our traps pouch. We actually okay. That just topped out our traps pouch, so we're good there. Ammo, I don't want to deal with, but I do want to look at this. I do want to see if we can craft some more health potions. We're gonna want that coming up. Health boost would be really nice and useful too. Uh, not as necessary. Definitely want to get this uh, full health potion as well. Okay, and now we'll up all that stuff. So we should be doing great on this. We will want this for our boss fight coming up because, well, let's just put it this way. It's uh, definitely going to be a challenge. Um, let's see. I've got two watchers over there plus a new enemy type. It's a shell walker. And let's see, can I actually scan it? I can. All right, so let's read about this new guy. Shellwalker. Uh, no weaknesses, but it does have a strength against shock. Uh, we have the main body, the crate, which will, you can actually knock the crate off and loot it. That should be worthy of noting. Uh, power generator, which is underneath it. The uh, A shield claw and then a lightning gun. Both of these are not going to be very much fun. Uh, also, I want to point this out that these are row overrides, 
And um, we are in Sigma, so we cannot override this guy yet. But we will. Just not right now. Let's see if I can't take this guy out. I see you. Oh. I feel like he moved right there at the end. Okay, well... Yeah, it was it was worth the thought, but that's okay. We're going to come across this time again. Hopefully do this without too much trouble. He is searching for us. He won't be able to find us while we're here. Ugh. But as soon as we drop down, though, we're in trouble. Okay, and anything that I can do this way to try to avoid... No, okay. All right, well, stealth game it is. Let's play it as smart as possible. I'm going to hide in here. Uh, we're not going to hide because they see me. Anybody? Oh, nope. Yeah, you see me. Let's let you come over here. And, hello, beautiful. Oh, wow. Nope. Do not want. Hey, got a different idea. Let's fall to her death. Well, that was a very dumb move. Okay. It's funny. These, uh, these enemies are harder than any other enemies that you end up fighting in this game. Um, because, well, these enemies are the hardest to have ever fought in this game because of the difficulty spread. But... We are dealing with dying more to simple things like bad platforming than anything else. Okay. You know what? We'll go a different route. Since uh, doing the critical hit plus didn't seem to help, let's go for precision. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Gives us a do-over, right? Okay. All right, so let's go and do this all over again. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to try to utilize as many stealth attacks as possible just to take care of the, some of these guys. See here, how right here it looks like you can uh, walk down the center? This is actually what I was thinking that I was getting into. Um, and that didn't happen. They're angry. Okay. So now... You see me. Okay, and let's see if I can't take this guy out. Okay. So now I'm hidden again. We want to kind of work our way over. Actually, let's scan again. Let's scan the area. Let's see what we have available to us. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's just, once again, we're going to slowly work our way around. Here's the uh, Watcher that we just killed. So we'll take care of that. I'm going to check down here. Yeah, see, that's where I actually fell right there. was right there in that one little bitty gap. We'll come down here, work our way across. Oh, you see me. No, you cannot see me. Don't see me. Um, well, never mind. Okay, well, let's see if we can't make our way up there real quick. Well, that'll be enough to kill it. Did I attract anyone else's attention? Uh, no. Okay, well, they're all curious. They can be curious, I just don't want them to attack. Um, let's see. Do we have anything? No, we don't. Oh, we're about to be in trouble. We are in trouble. Let's go. Oh, I can't see. Okay. Run. Go back to my nice little hidey hole. And you first. And you next. Okay. 
Nice. And... Oh, that was bad. Come on. Don't you shoot stuff at me. Okay, well, that was not good. And you too. Good shot. Let's see if I can't kill you. Okay, that'll take you down. And stabby stab. Alright, so we know that we still have that shell walker around here somewhere. We do need to take care of him. Also... Uh, we are going to look around and see... Okay, we actually have quite a few more. So we have more Watchers, and there's our Shell Walker. So we're going to mark these two just to keep track of them. I'm actually going to come up here the way we were and make sure that there's nothing up there that we can't grab. Um, let's craft. And then we're going to ride across to the other side. Okay. Just making sure that there's nothing extra out here. Uh, okay, well, we are attracting the attention of some people. Do not want that at all. Oh, and he is curious. Okay. You know what? Uh, let's see. First off, let's see if I can't craft up on this. Let's, we're going to do that, and then that, and then we'll do another round right there. We're going to let him walk across that and get some damage. That way, I don't have to waste all of my ammo on trying to take him down. There you go. And I'm not going to, let's see, what do we have? What can I build? Anything? No. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of fire arrow on this guy, too, I think. No, no, we'll uh, do this number again. There you go. See, we can knock off that top. You can also hit it off with these guys as well. Uh, for now, I'm going to let him... Oh, yeah, by the way, he will try to put it back on. And that was actually enough to pretty much kill him. So let's do that now. All right. I would call that much more of a success. So we actually got a rare item from that. We got a bellow back lens, and uh, which is actually not part of what we have here normally. So, or part of anything that we've been fighting. So this is actually really kind of cool. Uh, let's kind of make our way slowly this way. See if we can't stealth attack this guy. Alright. Let's follow. Just go about your business. And stab. Alright. And then, of course, we can... I don't think this is any special way. I think this is uh, kind of a look back. We may find some... Oh. There you go. There's a nice little core that you can look at. Uh, jumping down, though, is a bad idea. We don't need to do that. We are going to come this way. Uh, once again, we're in search for, of item boxes more than anything. go some more item boxes and some health it doesn't seem like a lot of health but the idea here uh, look here okay more health more health uh, you don't think they're gearing us up for a boss battle do you let's 
see, you're gonna come down here again, more supply crates. Uh, we just hit a point where we can't go back. So again, you can kind of see some really weird machinery going on. Um, let's see, can we go that way? Oh yes, we can, because we can do this. So off in the distance there, I'm going to point this out, that's where we're headed. You can kind of see it right to the right of uh, all the good stuff. There's like a machine kind of swirling around in the middle. That's our boss battle. We'll get there here in a bit. Right, and then opened up the path to the next area. So here we go. Almost to the heart. See, even Aloy, Aloy knows almost to the heart. We're almost there. We're uh, to the point. More crafting materials on our way down. All right, and more stuff to pick up. Magic mushrooms is what these guys are. If you actually look at them, they're mushrooms, so... See? And... Uh, we're gonna come over here. Again, picking up good stuff here and there. Damage coils. I mean, the game is really trying to prep you for if you're not ready, if your character's not well developed, then you actually get the option of developing a bright of developing them up right now so I'm gonna do a real quick check of everything that we have available to us and um, let's see uh, we can still do some good stuff with this guy we've got the rope caster which I don't think is actually gonna do us much good right now um, this is gonna be our main one um, main weapon coming up we may do a little bit with the sharp shot bow but I'm not really that worried about the uh, that kind of precision damage. Um, I'm wanting to tear stuff off, and you guys will see why. So we ha should have plenty of everything that we need. Um, we are going to be out of. Uh, oh, hey, look! We says we have a pouch upgrade available. Okay, so we're at two pluses total. Um, once we repel down, there is no way back up. Then what I'll do is I will walk around the arena, I'll show everything off, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So first off, let's go see. It says I have a ability to craft. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. We, we do. It's because uh, because I decided to fall down a hole. And yeah. So here we go. We've got some enemies. You see we've got two watchers there. Probably should have taken them out from afar. Let's sneak up. We should be able to take one out without too much trouble. So, by the way, there's there's our uh, big nasty. Ah, oh, by the way, don't touch the center. Oh goodness, I'm going to die because I got stuck in the force field. Excellent. By the way, don't touch the force field. Force field equals bad. Okay, so here we are back again. Um, let's make sure that I didn't miss anything. Uh, Crafting-wise, I think we're good. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're caught up. We didn't lose too much. Um, you know what? Do I have the ability? Yeah, no, we're going to go ahead. We're going to come on down. We're going to try to play this one a little bit smarter. Okay, again, going to kind of work my way around the outside. I do have these watchers to contend with. Let's see if I can't take them out the right way. Let's distract one of them, get him. Let's have him looking over there. I want, I want to separate them. Number one, I want to get them away from that force field. Hey, look, we can pick that up along the way, maybe? No, okay, we'll just do this. 
Okay, there's one down. Let's go pick up my rock. And let's do the same thing for the other one. Once again, I don't want extra people coming around while I'm fighting. I want to deal with this one-on-one -on -one as much as possible. So, okay, let's... I wonder if this will... No? You don't want to? Okay. Can I do this? Yeah, okay. Okay, so now... Now for the fun part. Now we start looking around. So if you look, there are actually three different spots around this entire arena that you can climb up. You've got a tower right there in the distance. you got a tower that I just showed you right there. And there should be one on the other side as well. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and take out some of these items. See, we got this, uh, we've got some hidden items here. Resist melee attacks. It's going to be decent for us. Um, let's see, what else? Um, from knowledge, and this is, you'll learn this as you go along. We'll actually get a few enemies that come out of these areas that we'll want to take care of as well. Um, however, it's not really what I'm looking for. So, in almost all of these cauldrons are set up the same. You've got kind of one pro approach that's like top down, whatever you land in, and you can look in. Then you've got like uh, another one that looks like it would be a place you could escape. You can't. And then usually on almost all of them you have this little area up here where it's got kind of a little jut sticking out and a little place right down in here. This is actually a nice little hidey hole and then this is going to be our way of cheesing this battle. Um, I say cheese, it's not really cheese, it's called fighting safely. Um, we, will, we will do this as best we can. So first off, first things I'm going to do, I'm going to place a trap right here. So if anything comes out of there, I don't have to worry about them. Next up, let's see, where's my magic area? Yeah, it's right here. So next up, we're going to do this. We're going to go straight across one side to the other. Do two. Okay. And once again, because these things stack, we're going to do three. And you can have a maximum of six out, by the way. There's going to be four. And last but not least, we're going to put down a shock one right here. That's going to be five. And then the other one will make six. So now we are just about ready. Uh, I do want to keep these in mind. We are going to want fire arrows out for this battle. Um, before I uh, actually do this, I'm going to take a look at this guy because we should be able to scan him. So, uh, well, I thought it was. Can we see him now? Fire Bellowback. So there are actually two flavors of uh, Bellowbacks. There's a fire and an ice. Um, this one, weaknesses, freeze, and strength against fire. Uh, Blaze Canister, which is going to be underneath him, is weak to fire and to ripping out. We are going to want to hit him with fire on his uh, Blaze Canister if we can. We're going to want to hit the body with freeze if we can. Notice also the uh, Cauldron Overrides is Zai. Um, so we've got a little ways to go before we get to that guy. Um, and then, so yeah, uh, and then the gullet right here, weakness all, the cargo sack and the gullet. These are two areas. If you hit, you hit them enough, they will explode causing massive amount of damages. So, uh, you also want to be mindful because that could explode and hit you too. Here we go. All right. All of our training has led to this moment. Um, let's see. So we're actually going to switch over to fire arrows I think and even though not fire arrows regular arrows since this one looks like it's going to be strong against fire we're gonna stay away from that all right and let's go battle is commencing we want to run and get in our nice little hidey hole as quick as possible he is going to be curious see we already have other buddies coming along 
and you can see this guy is going to be a real pain to deal with. So let's take on the little guys as best we can. There's only going to be one at a time. Okay, he will undoubtedly let his buddies know if we don't take care of him now. Okay, and done. Let's get back up in here. Remember, you can always take these guys out later if necessary. So catch your breath, get ready, because this is going to be a ride. Okay, he is now aware that somebody is being a jerk to him. And, yep, here he comes. Now he's getting closer. Let's see if we can't hit him in somewhere it's going to hurt a little bit more. There you go. And come this way. There you go. Take a little extra damage. And jump up. Shoot him. Oh, bad shot. There you go. Once again, just trying to get some good shots on that blaze sack right there. Uh, 18 damage. Definitely good shots right there. Eighteen, good stuff right there. Good damage. And duck in here. Let him shoot his little fireballs. He can't hit us when we're ducked into that little corner right there. Okay. Once again, it looks horrible. It looks so scary. This is the best way, best strategy that I've ever found if you want to cheese these fights. It works really well on this one and a couple of the other bosses where if you don't want to get up and personal with them, you don't have to. Miss. Okay, stay down while he shoots his little fireball. And let's see if we can't. There we are. A couple more hits. And once I run out of arrows right here, we're going to go out and we're going to probably engage him head on. We should blow up this sack on his back, though, here soon. There you go. Look at that massive amount of damage. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to craft up our arrows. You see he is on fire, so he's going to be taking some fire damage. We're going to come up here now, and we're actually going to hit him with our uh, ice sling. should be a little bit different. So slings work a little bit differently. You've got to do uh, arcing attacks, which does a huge difference. Like, it acts different in everything. So when you hit somebody with uh, ice you freeze them and when they're frozen you do extra damage and you can see right here whereas I was doing 18 I'm now doing 36 on the gullet there Good. Oh, hey let's not lose track of these guys I'm gonna take care of you and try not to die hello how you doing my friend Okay, and again, good shots. All of this. We're going to get back in our little hidey hole. And then hopefully, there you go. There's enough to knock him down. Let's see if I can't take care of this guy real quick. Good night. And you. And you too. Take a critical hit. We're going to refreeze you. Okay, hopefully, yes, no, okay, not quite there. Oh yeah, you are frozen again, okay. And hit you again. Oh, he ran over me, but as you can see, a lot more clunky, taking a lot more damage. There you go, good shot there. Let's see if we can't hit one of those. Uh... Oh, we can light him on fire too, that would be fun. Love to hit one of those blaze canisters up underneath. By the way, 
the fire and the ice do not cancel each other out, however, because he is strong against fire, you can see he's not taking near as much damage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and craft these up again, because I think we're going to want to hit him again with that. Alright, another really good shot here. And hopefully one good last blow to the face right there. go check our spoils and that is how you defeat or how you beat cauldron sigma all right so once again we're going to check the arena make sure there is nothing left that we can uh, grab and then we're going to head on out up the uh up the way we came in how you say that should be fairly obvious once we get there you can see we actually didn't need all of these traps um, one of the skills you get later on you get the ability to re-harvest your traps that you didn't spend on um, it's kind of a shame because it is a waste it is a waste of material but um, in the grand scheme of things it's worth it if you're just trying to I mean what, what's what's worth it here is it you know staying alive or you know uh, saving materials and in this case it would be staying alive so And now we hit the cutscene. Enjoy. Information has different machines. This will help me overwrite them. So now we have completed the quest. We got a skill point. We got heck a lot of experience. We now have Sigma overrides available. Welcome back, Aloy, boss gamer. Here you go. Technically, if you want to, you could rerun the cauldron, do stuff in the future, but why would you ever want to? Uh, so, here you go. Every time you do one of these, you actually get a data point for it. Uh, and, yes, we are doing great. Uh, as far as game progression goes, we're doing wonderful. Frozen Wilds progression, we're not worried about statistics. Please don't look at those. I'll give you my uh, shot accuracy, which is horrendous. And that's it. Guys, if you enjoyed the... Well hold, well, hold on a second. Before I get ahead of myself, let's go and get ourselves to a save point. To the campfire, I say. Get pick up this Ridgewood along the way. Um, once again, if you enjoyed the episode today, I encourage you to hit that like button. Let me know uh, what you thought about the episode down in the comment section. Did I do something right? Did I do something wrong? Could I be doing something better? All of this is wonderful feedback, and I really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the episode and you're interested in any of the other series that we have, I'd encourage you to hit that uh, subscribe button along with the bell notification. That way you do stay up to date. Finally, if you're interested in joining the Silo Cat gaming community, uh, which is a wonderful community, we've got some links down in the description area. It's a really nice place. Uh, we're all friendly here. We have a Discord, a Twitter, an Instagram, a Facebook, uh, just about every single uh, social platform you could possibly think of. Finally, if you're interested, I also live stream a couple nights a week. Uh, you can catch me over on Twitch, uh, in which case I do all sorts of fun little games. Uh, I try to keep a variety up, and I always take my viewer suggestions into consideration. So until next time, guys, I really had a great time today, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. For me, it's a Saturday. I hope for you guys, you all are having an excellent Monday. I love you all. Have a great day.